let's start with the blockchain trilemma. The blockchain trilemma obviously presents the trade-off between you know three critical aspects of running a blockchain, scalability, security, and decentralization. Can you achieve all three of those? And so far we've seen many of the leading projects struggle with that trade-off, but yep. give us your rundown on the blockchain trilemma. And I'm going to have to start by saying that I think most people have got this wrong because it's not a trilemma. In my opinion, and if you understand blockchains, it's actually a bi-lemma or a dilemma. And so what they say is that you need scalability, you need security, and you need decentralization. And the thing is that decentralization and security are the same thing. There is no secure blockchain that is not decentralized. And so I think this is the thing that has sort of got the blockchain community slightly in a tiz. Yeah, I mean, Vitalik, great guy, you know, can't diss him, very smart chap. But it's not a trilemma. When you realize what a blockchain is for, yeah, when you understand that actually the blockchain is only there for one reason, and it only does one thing, and it's not smart contracts, and it's not transactions per second, you know, it's not convenience. All of these things I have already. You know, my, my contactless Visa card is pretty convenient. It can do loads of transactions. That's not what I use my blockchain for. The only reason I use my blockchain is because it's meant to be censorship resistant. And so when you talk about the security of a blockchain, what you are referring to is its ability to resist censorship attacks. And the only known way, there's no other way of doing this. This is the thing that Satoshi did. This is the thing that Bitcoin introduced us to. The only way of achieving censorship resistance is through decentralization. And there's a very simple way of explaining this because centralized systems are so easy to attack. And if it were possible to come up with a censorship resistant system that was centralized, we'd have done it by now, but we just can't do it. So actually, when you're looking at these three variables that you want, actually what you want is you want to talk about scalability and decentralization. And these two things are at different ends of the spectrum, because if you want to be decentralized, then you can't scale. This is another thing that people don't understand. This is why you get Solana saying, look, it's fine. We're just going to ramp up the transactions per second. It's like, yeah, but you sacrifice decentralization to achieve your scalability. So what you need to do is you need to realize that actually the scalability isn't something you do on layer one. Yeah. You can have scalable, you can have millions of transactions per second. And we have that system today already in action. It's called the Lightning Network. I know the Lightning Network gets a lot of, has, you know, it gets a lot of grief. And a lot of people think that it's you know non-functioning everything, but it is the only layer two that actually works. It is the only layer two that is permissionless, that is open, that is unilaterally, you know, I can leave and you can leave without any permission. This is what a layer two should be. You know, Lightning Network is instant and it's cheap. I mean, it's free and it's instant and it can handle any amount of transactions because, specifically because, only the people involved in the transaction have to be processing that transaction. So when you're on layer one, everybody processes everything. Fine. That's how you get your base layer security. Everybody processes everything. But that means it can't scale. And then you go to layer two and it's like, well, actually only me and you are going to, you know, Lightning Network is basically swapping contracts with each other. And that's where you get your scalability. So actually, as far as the trilemma goes, it's actually only the, only the scalability and the decentralization. And, you know, that's why the product that we work on, on the, on the minima chain, you know, focuses on decentralization. That's the number one thing. That's the only thing you need to worry about. And then we're going to be adding our scalability by, uh, you know, we've got really, really nice lightning network compatibility. You know, when you, when you're able to look back and, you know, cherry pick all the really nice ideas that have happened in the last 10 years, there's lots of things that lightning could do with, you know, OPCAT is the current one that everyone loves. There's a few other functions that you could do L2, you know, the way that you can do something technical to do with signatures that would make lightning 50 times easier. And the thing is that they don't, when you make something easier, it means there's more developers that can work on it, which means that you get more products coming out of it, which means that you get more you know, investment and time and all of these things. So that's how we've attacked the problem. It's got to be decentralized and you can have your scalability, but not on layer one, on layer two. And so that's what I think about the trilemma.